In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. The sun is just rising past the fence line. Got my inventory organized somewhat. It has been a hot minute since I've played. I had that trip and then I came back and I was just tired and, you know, wanted to take a break for a while, spend some time with the kid. We were watching a, a show together, so. Hope you guys understand. I mean, my regulars completely understand, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I do need to worry about my water situation. I'm starting to run a little low. All right, but I'm good on food and water. I've got iron pumping out. Let's put a little bit more in there. Ooh, it has been, it's been a hot minute since I checked my uh, reserves. There we go. That's always a good thing. Um, not that I leave it for so long, but that there's always fresh. I think. Yeah, I definitely need to take care of... Oh, yeah, my planters are all... Filled out. If I'm not mistaken, I think I need to replant probably... Really? What are you shooting at? I'm just going to go ahead and finish them off quickly. I don't know what their uh, dealio was, but I wasn't into it right now. All right. Hey, nice. So base hunters with gears, which I guess is possible. Oh my lord, they've been doing some damage to this stuff. I mean, that's why this is here, is to help protect the base. Not much there. Not much there. I wonder if this planter got hit with that guy in his shotgun. Nope. So, those sacrificial walls up there are actually doing exactly what I want them to do. Alright, so those are... Completely empty of resources to help grow. I do need to do something about those walls. Get those upgraded. Or repaired. Actually, both. All right. Yeah, all these are a little low on everything. Let me check my fruit and vegetable status. Uh, yeah, definitely need to replant onions. That's a for sure need. And I could do with some more carrots. And... Oh, I already had a good amount of carrot seeds, so that was a little bit of a mistake. I mean, it's not going to change the world or anything, but... And I need three more. Get three planters full of nothing but onions, and then planter of carrots. And I think onion onion nothing so I'll put carrots in that one and this one is onions as well let's turn off the light no reason to waste the power my base can handle the power use but no reason to waste it let me check on the power Ooh, a little low So 
32 split in half I have to do some uh, house or base maintenance today I think is is what's on the docket do I have anything crafted in the BCU right now waiting no okay yeah some busted stuff over here but I really need to take care of those outer walls because that's what you know protecting my planters and stuff and I think that's highly important text put that away Ooh. split half I'll take well I'll split half again I don't want to take more than 10 tomatoes with me um I don't have any armor plates available and Hmm, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it later. I'll take a chance that those won't break. Thought I saw something swimming in the water again. Um, I'm not going to fertilize those onions right now. I've got enough. I was about to say enough on my plate and make a funny, but honestly, I don't need that many more uh, onions at this moment. That's right. I was working on a, a defense for up here. Ah, I need a chicken too. Took out my last chicken and haven't gone after one. And I just saw a chicken over here. So let's see if we can grab ourselves a chicken. Here, chicky, 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 chicky. I saw one over here. Here you are. Thought that was your health bar I saw. Come on, just just stop and let me catch you. Make your life a little bit easier. There you go. And make my life a little bit easier going back for that box that I saw. If there's any goodies in it. Come on, come on. Hey, scrap is actually it's the thing that I was hoping to get. I would like a little bit more of it, but scrap is one of those things I need to make metal plates. Ah, there's a real piggy over there. Cotton seed. Ha <laughs> ha. Red letter day. Anytime I get a cotton seed, it makes me happy. I'm going to leave the pig. I don't need to go after the pig right now. It's not doing me any, any worthwhile all right that takes care of that chicken that chicken will be happy so that worked out to this corner might have to do it so what four or five more walls and I bet I don't have the wood I mean, I'd rather not do a whole episode of gathering wood, but I could go after rogue hunters and gather wood that way. It's always a good way to gather wood. Let's go drop off what I've got. Get the cotton seed right there. I have no place to plant at this moment, so we'll just hold off. And I wanted to see what my wood status was. Only 15. Yeah. Okay. So, rogue hunter sniffing out is what I'm trying to do. Problem is, the rain will put out their fires. They'll restart them again, but... Maybe not quick enough so I can actually see them. Hmm. Not sure what the best direction would be right now if I'm, I'm seriously hunting rogue hunters for wood. I almost always find them when I go behind my base. So let's go that direction first. And we'll see what 
luck brings me on this track. If I don't see any, I'll just have to spend the night getting wood. But if that wall is going to be useful, I need to get it finished. Right now, it's it's not going to do any good if the hunters want to go attack from that area. Um, it's possible that the walls that I've put up might mess with their pathing a little bit. But I don't think it would be... It's not something I want to bet on. I'll put it that way. Now, there's been a lot of chatter about where's the update, where's the update, because everybody was for sure that it was going to drop before the end of the month or right after the beginning of the month. Um, now, I never spill what I know. And the only reason I'm saying anything is because I don't know anything. Cold Games hasn't told me when it was going to drop. He told me when it wasn't dropping. It happened to be the week I was away because I asked him. I was like, crap, I might not be around to do an update video. He told me, don't worry about it. It's not coming out that week. But that doesn't mean it, it wouldn't have come out this week, which is what I thought might have been happening. So I only knew when it wasn't. I don't know when it is. That also tells you that he hasn't reached out to me and said that they're, hey, go test this. It's almost ready to get dropped because had he told me anything i wouldn't talk see typically you'll know when i know something because i won't talk about it talking about this because honestly i don't know anything at this point i am not seeing any rogue hunters out here at all one run chicken run i almost said rabbit but it was a chicken there's a wolf chasing me and i don't want to waste resources killing a wolf Oh, great. Now I've got two wolves chasing me. I think that's a cougar over there. Um, health bar, I mean, my stam bar is getting kind of low. All right, good. Stop for a second. Eat that. That'll help a little bit. We'll go back and get some protein real quick. Man, my stuff went down quick. I was full bars when I started this. Well, close to full bars when I started this morning. I don't know why I don't carry food with me anymore. It used to be something I always carry, but... I don't know. It's like a habit I got out of. Guess I could at least carry some eggs with me, so if I'm out and about... You know, too far away that I have something I can um, munch down. Ooh, hello. Wild potato seed. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Skip the, the wolf for a second. Hmm. There's another area, like, right on that uh, shoreline over there that is uh, a common area for rogue hunters. So maybe we'll go check that next. There was some things uh, last week I would have talked about if I did uh, videos, but most of that's kind of died down, so I'm not going to bring it up. There are some people who are annoyed that I uh, I talk about certain things in my videos, and I'm like, well, guess what? You don't have to watch my video. And you never have to worry about it. Or another way to say it, if you don't say stupid things, people won't talk about it. Because you won't say anything worth mentioning. Or going seriously about. Let's drop off the goodies. And get some more iron going. Ooh, there's an iron node right over there. Let me... Not hungry enough for that. Let's eat... Steak and eggs. And... I really should bring, ooh, have eggs in here, right? Ooh, I don't have a lot of eggs. I'll bring four eggs along just in case I need some protein while I'm out. Like an emergency, it's an emergency stash of protein. 
And there's no timer on eggs. They don't go bad at this point, so... No worries. Then we're gonna head out this way. I think that my drill just turned over. That's the sound that I thought I heard. All right. Let me check. Yep, they both just turned over. Okay. I'll grab it and take it with me for a moment. I don't want to waste time running back into the house again. So I need to make a decision what I'm going to do. I think I'll have to use the resources I have. I'm wanting the, the power build up. And I'll make the armor plates necessary. Hello, wolf. Make the armor plates necessary to go ahead and upgrade those walls. I think fixing my uh, static defense, something that has, you know, saved a lot of damage to my base is probably what needs to happen first. The other is kind of, it, it's more of a preventative, meaning I'm just gonna stop the hunters from getting into an area that I don't want them to attack from. And the other is uh, an area they attack from no matter what, especially if I'm outside the actual base itself and I'm out, out and about doing things that they shoot across and then they damage vital items. And I mean, and I could take all the planters and put lights on them and get all the power necessary so that they don't have to sit outside, but solar panels don't work that way. Solar panels have to be outside. Now, once that wall is done and it, ha it shows that the hunters aren't gonna try to breach it or aren't attacking that area, I could take all those solar panels and just move them to the, uh, the top of my house. Cause I don't need to access the solar. The reason I took the, um, the planters off the top is I didn't want to go up there and access the top of my house all the time. It didn't make sense. Solar panels, once I've put them up, unless they take damage or I want to upgrade them, I never have to open and never have to interact with the solar panel again. It just does its job. So that could be an option where I've taken, you know, one vector of, uh, of worry away where I'm not you know, concerned about them doing damage in that area. But then I have to figure out where I want to put the planters. And I actually have a good idea about where to put the planters. I just don't know if they're going to get enough light over there. I'll have to do some testing. But I do have an idea and it would uh, definitely change the look of the base a little bit. Now, there's no rogue hunters over here, I think. Basically, what I would do is right now my planters are right about there, and I would just shift them to the other side of the of the house. Since all the hunters seem to attack here, you know, the top of the hill, or coming around this uh, that patch right here, right around there, since they seem to attack that way all the time, move the planters out of that line of sight, then what they do really doesn't matter as much. I don't know if that's the better option or just leaving um, those sacrificial walls up. The sacrificial walls themselves don't look good. I don't like the look of it. Um, but unfortunately, I really don't have much of a choice. Now I could rearrange the BCUs at my base again and put a sacrificial BCU out someplace that they would never see the front of my base when they're attacking it. I've done that in the past. I mean, that's basically what I've done. My BCU isn't in my base. It's out in the, uh, what I've dubbed the TIE fighter. It doesn't look much like a TIE fighter anymore, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's out in the, uh, in the ring and sitting out in the water. 
and that's done a good amount. I mean, it, it's helped um, protect the, you know, my actual base, so I can use a lot of glass and have a nice wide open view, which is what I wanted. But it kind of brings its own problems with it, so, and it's kind of a twofold thing. I kind of wish that we had um, base defenses that would honestly kill uh, rogue hunters. Now, they would have to be like a late tier item that uh, would hobble and or, you know, seriously wound uh, hunters when they're attacking. But unfortunately, we don't we don't have anything like that. Yeah, you've got claymores, but claymores don't do enough damage. Unless you set them up far enough apart so they don't set off each other, but the the hunters have to run in a line and they set off more than one claymore. And then you only get lucky to kill even one hunter, let alone trying to stop a whole stampede of hunters. So for base defense, we don't have many options, unfortunately. Now, careful what I'm saying, because if we get base defense, the hunters get base defense. And I'd be fine with that. We can think past base defense. The AI, it has scripts that it runs trying to uh, avoid damage, I believe. You know, like it, it, it won't, you know, it won't do X because X is definitely good. But, I mean, they shoot themselves left and right, which is hilarious when you hear it happening. And I have seen one hunter kill another hunter trying to take a shot at me. Shot him right in the back of the head with a nine mil, which was awesome. But beyond that, most times they don't uh, they don't take their own safety into consideration, but then they instantly heal and uh, uh, and place splints on themselves if they ever break a leg. Because I've seen hunters fall off a rock, break their leg, and keep, and never even pause, and they're just still running. They instantly uh, heal and put a splint on. So even like a, a drop fall, you know, some type of trap like that wouldn't work with the hunters. Hush bear, there's scrap here. If I'm not gonna find rogue hunters to get wood, which means I have to do my own wood gathering, then I'm gonna at least gonna grab all the scrap that I see. Okay. And no, I don't have a key on me. I'm kind of over making keys again. I mean, I'm still gonna make keys because I, I I pop that. Uh, you know, I, I opened up that that can of worms, but right now I'm having a wood shortage, and if I have to waste planks on making keys, I would rather waste or use planks to make walls and I'm gonna use it to defend my base. All right, let's be smart. Refresh myself real quick. That's I've got a bear on one side, wolves on the other, and a hunter base in vicinity. Now, I also, uh, Akil was complaining that He's cracked several bases, and all he is getting are small bases as replacements. I don't know if there is an issue or not. That might explain why when I busted the small base, they built a small base, which in the past they would never do. When you busted the smallest base, they would always build a medium or large base in the past. Um, so that might be a coding thing. I haven't heard anything officially, but that just kind of makes me not want to waste resources cracking BCUs trying to get larger uh, hunter bases to attack.
Okay, well, no follow-on attack from hunters today. Now, that attack that, that the hunters made, I never got the your base is under attack, so unfortunately, that base is going to uh, still have the flag for uh, do it a revenge attack. Which sucks, but... I mean, that brings more loot my way, but... That also brings more damage my way as well. Alright. Grab that. I should have the resources now. And I've got the power. Three, four, five, six. I think we'll do that for now. Get six out grab my hammer all right where did I leave my hammer there it is and then we'll go upgrade and repair what I can I've already got nails on me the nails that I actually found when I was out and about so that works pretty good and that pig's still above my base. I'm not going to bother the pig because it's taking the spawn of other animals right now. And that's a good thing at this point. All right. So you're going to get an upgrade. It's more cost effective to upgrade you. And you're getting repaired. You haven't taken any damage. That one has. I'll uh, go ahead and I'll upgrade that one. Now, worst case scenario, um, I don't need this anymore. Let's say I make that change. Then I'll just go ahead and take those walls and use them over here. They're already upgraded. I can just shift them all the way over here and that would work just fine as well. So I'm not really not wasting anything, you know, even though I have a, a thought. Oh, seriously? How many? They have 22 left. I was going to take the hit because I wanted to shoot him, but he moved too quickly. That's right. Come on. I'll take the hit if I can get the kill. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was a waste of premium arrows, but one, it felt good. And two, I didn't want to waste time. Hey, always good to get medical tonics. Decent. At least they they started the attack, so I don't have to worry about them coming and doing another attack right away. Grab that free arrow. Oh, I need one more because that's a foundation, huh? And I thought for sure that arrow was going to hit me. But nope, it just, I was like, I was going to take the hit because I just wanted to get the kill real quick. Make one more plate for me. And even if I end up moving this stuff, everything here needs to get plated eventually. At least that up until I'd say this point right here, that this all needs to get, because this all takes damage from those hunters when they come in. So this whole line right here needs to get updated or upgraded. All right. There we go. My fire just went out. Fuels to stop. I mean, I'm stop. Uh, my generator just ran out, but I'm going to get this done before the next attack happens. Sweet. All right, one last one to upgrade. 
But the one that's not taking a lot of damage, so I'll probably just hold off on that. All right. Ooh, I have too many goodies. All right, I need to put this stuff away and then I can reorg everything again. But I'm going to do that in the next episode because I'm going to call this one here. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on season five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.